Hi, I have Jacob Meister back on my show. Jacob, thanks for coming. Well, thank you for having me, Lee. Jacob's uh, running for Cook County Clerk of the Court, and we're going to talk today a little bit about some things that have been trending in the news related to debt forgiveness from the federal uh, student loan debt. There's been talks about wiping out the debt owned. Uh, lots of people are concerned over medical related debt, but now there's been some, some calls by one of the candidates running requesting that we just wipe away the court debt. And I wanted to get your feedback on what the problem is there and what, what do you think the solution is? Well, for years I have been an advocate for um, easing the burden with court fees that are charged to litigants, um, fines and forfeitures that go through the clerk's office. So the clerk uh, is required to collect fines, fees, and forfeitures that are implemented usually by statute or by sometimes by the, by the uh, court rules themselves. Um, but what we see is a tremendous economic cost and social injustice that's done. So just imagine you're a, a, a single mother mm -hmm. who's being evicted from, from your, your apartment or your, your home, and you in order you get a summons from the sheriff saying you must appear or you're going to get a default judgment entered against you. But first you have to file an appearance and pay a fee. It's going to be $250 to defend yourself. And if you don't, you're going to get defaulted. And, and this is a crushing burden of uh, you know, a single mother. And it can affect anybody who's not only in eviction, but child custody. It could be dealing with, with a, a divorce. It could be dealing with any number of things. We need to stop placing a crushing burden on the users of the court systems and make a, a, a system that's available to everyone. Um, but who, who decides what that fee is? Is that with that's the a state legislature? That's a state legislature, and that's the, the Supreme county, Court and the Supreme Court and, uh, and the county board. And the county board does some of them, some of those fees go there too. We have to stop squeezing court users to pay these fees and start and start paying paying for it in other ways. But in any event, um, I have been a supporter of, for instance, when people get fines. If you have a fine, mm -hmm. you know, you it's a court-imposed fine, and some people can't pay it, and it becomes this burden, and you get trapped, and sometimes you get imprisoned because you can't pay these fines that you've been ordered to by yeah. the court. One of the things that we that I worked on in Springfield and we need to expand mm -hmm. is allowing people to get credit for community service so that they have, if they can't afford to yeah. pay the fines, they have a way that they can provide community service and reduce that fine over time. We have to come up, we have to be better about how we handle these things. We, we, you know, we have to stop taking away people's driver's licenses because they can't pay their fines because that puts them in a cycle of debt that they can never get out of because all of a sudden they can't drive themselves to work, they lose their jobs. Um, they can't get a new job. They can't get pay, a new job. To pay for exactly. Their fees. Exactly. So, so we, we need to ease the burden there. I will continue to work with the folks in Springfield, with the folks in, in Cook County government, and with the courts. I've got very good relations there, and I will work to make sure that social justice is being achieved and that we're not putting people in a vicious downward spiral of debt. So, some of the efficiencies you talked about earlier about making the court more efficient. Some of those efficiencies might help to pay for some of this this Absolutely. relief on some of the oppressed people that are are really being trapped in a cycle. Absolutely, downward. absolutely, absolutely, and that's the goal: is to make sure that our courts are accessible to everyone, that we're doing justice, and that we're achieving social justice. We're not just trapping people in a court system and in burdensome debt. Great. Well, thanks for being on the show again. Well, thank you for having me, Lee.